All right, here we go. This is game two of three in the best of three series between these two teams. It is the red team on the left side, Hawk 485 in the Pax Helix, and Happy Death in the Classic Striker, as opposed to the previous game where he played Osprey. And the Carbon team on the right side, it is Red Dog in the Nexus Plastic Paladin, and Sport 87 received from the Black Ops Striker. This time we are on Twin Peaks. An interesting 2v2 map, to say the least, in my opinion. I mean, it could... Th there are definitely times where it gets extremely bottom fight heavy, and very difficult to, you know, to stay... Uh, to stay optimistic about the, uh, movement in in the game. Uh, a, lot, a lot of bottom Twin Peaks fights get very stagnant, but um, in, in a... In a game with this many players of this caliber, hopefully someone will make a, a decent move. But it looks like both both teams are going to go very standard. I'm curious to see if any team decides to put anything uh, to try to go for top at all. And Red Dog going really aggressively right to the middle, right to the center of the of the bottom of the circle. While Sport actually did do an infantry drop to neutralize, uh, I guess a creep drop to neutralize this um, the close post. So, does it allow Red Dog as the Paladin to get better position right early on in this Twin Peaks game? Sport dropping the Gaddy. And, oh man, Red Dog dealing with a, a neutralization from Happy Death, a counter neutralization. Dropping the, the Rebel, Sport trying to follow Happy Death back there. But, um, yeah, a lot of trouble being caused for both teams by both teams, by their opposite team. And, uh-oh, low health Dillo does get finished off, so... Oh, but there is another Dillo that's dead right there. So this is going to be a very interesting game, in my opinion. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel it. Feels it. It's in the feels. But, uh, definitely a better front line established by the red team, or by the carbon team. Uh, oh, but two artillery pieces up for the red team, where the carbon team only has the one Archie. And now Sport dropping the second one. The Buster. Okay, no Busters down for the the Carbon team. And that, I mean, I don't know if they have Busters. At this point, they are at level 3. And if they haven't pumped one out now, it's kind of weird. I would imagine they have Busters on Twin Peaks. But, uh, yeah, the, the one Buster out is actually qu kind of a big difference. Kind of a big deal. It does look like Happy Death... Doing another creep drop to the fort, Sport responding to it appropriately with a couple butcher drops now at the top outpost to try to neutralize it. Will definitely get neutralized if it doesn't get responded to and now Happy Death responding to it. Gonna drop some sergeants, had sergeants in queue! Possibly was gonna try to go for a cheese himself, but uh, the creep's getting dropped to deal with the Dillo and Sport realizing that leaving it there is just fruitless, so bringing it back down to the bottom fight. While well, Happy Death still trying to finish off the rest of the Butchers and stuff there. But now finally does it. Drops a single Buster over here. Gets detected by Sport. Wow, such a high level game. Every little trick gets noticed by the other team. Because um, they, they know what to look for. They're very, very vigilant about their mini-map. They fly back and forth and keep an eye on as much as possible. A couple shooters down on the field for the for the, the Carbon team. Which is pretty, pretty great for Twin Peaks to be quite honest. Um, but there are so many healers, we have three ratchets down, four ratchets down for the red team, that the, uh, yeah, the, the shooters, especially shooting the front of busters, might not really accomplish anything at all. But again, I'm a little, I'm a little curious to see if either of these teams go with shooters or buckies for the top, because then they might be able to gain an advantage and just do a quick move to grab top. I'm not really sure what that drop down there was, but again, happy death with a, I'm not sure what this was, a turtle. He brought a turtle. I don't know what the point of bringing a turtle is, but he brought one, and he could probably bring it back. Yep, there you go. He's probably fine. <laughs> I guess the turtle's just there for blocking purposes or something, and you know it's gonna last a while, so it almost acts like a shield for the mech or something like that? I'm not sure. The red dog with a paladin hammer can reach across the gap here. Each team trying to get a better angle on the other. Tesla Tower down for the Carbon team. Kinda useful in Twin Peaks. I mean, probably more defensive, more useful in a defensive capacity on Twin Peaks, to be quite honest. 
Um, and now we do have Happy Death trying to finish off this T99, but really low on health here. Does Q heal. Sport notices he's gone. Does try to catch him in the act, but I don't think he can stop him from killing this, uh, this T99, which does get finished off there. Sport trying to harass. Probably wants to focus the generator over the buster, but not really going to get anywhere. Now realizes that... Oh, oh, and the shooters did get put down. Okay, so the shooters were put down up here. But uh, Sport now trying to handle the, the buster, while in the meantime, in the bottom fight, Hawk and Red Dog still at odds. Uh, the, you know, the neither of these are an Osprey, so it's a fairly even Helix versus Paladin. You're not really going to get too much of a difference until a move is made where the Paladin, you know, the Paladin Ore is really going to make the difference. And it's unlikely that the uh, Paladin will land for the Helix missiles to really take any any useful effect. Happy Death actually grabbing this top. So, the red team... Oh, and gonna be focusing Sport there in the air, getting the kill. Will he use this as an opportunity to do a quick leapfrog up to the close outpost? Doesn't look like it, but it, it, it was an opening that he could have taken. Whether or not it would have been a smart choice remains to be, um, well, I guess never seen because he didn't do it, so... <laughs> But uh, great unit combo here for Happy Death. The Ratchet's backing, you know, they're his frontline units. And at this point, the Carbon Team's main hope, obviously, is to win the bottom fight. So Sport might want to refocus efforts on... That's a good... That's an... You know, I... I you know, the neutralization of the close... Or of the, of the post that the enemy is fighting off of is just such a strong move if you can actually accomplish it. Because it takes away their heal, obviously, it takes away their unit draw. So it's a pretty huge thing. But 63 to 34. Didn't really notice the upkeep disparity until now. The heavy mines go down for Happy Death, but way, way the hell in front there. I'm not really sure how useful that's gonna be necessarily, I guess, um, unless the unless Sport puts down a, a healing unit of some kind, the heavy mines will prevent him from leaping up. But will he even do that at this point? He has nothing but Archies. And the grinder is going to finish them off very quickly. Boom and boom. Sport not able to save a single one. As we go back down to the bottom fight. Hawk losing a little bit of ground uh, against the Paladin and Red Dog. The double buster up here doing kind of a lot of damage. But it really pales in comparison to Happy Death taking this close outpost. And it does look like the end is nigh for the Carbon team. I hope I used that phrase right. <laughs> But uh, now Happy Death down here to help with the bottom fight to help against Red Dog. And once again, both sets of mechs are down here at the bottom fight. But Red Dog, a little bit overextending, getting killed on the ground by the Buster. And Rebels going out by ha for Happy Death. Will they use this as a, with a timing push here? I don't think they even need to. Uh, but the Ratchets and Seeker for some reason go down. Neutralization would be huge for the Red Team. That would basically seal the deal. And if they can get this neutralization, I would say that the Carbon Team has no hope in this game after that. Red Team moving up these Rebels. A lot of these Rebels still alive. Happy Death slashing because he was going after the artillery. Which I don't know that that should have been the primary focus. I think the focus should have been the neutralization. But either way, they're way ahead. Happy Death low on health. Will he be able to get out of here? Red Dog got finished off by Sport. But Happy Death getting killed over here. So now it is Hawk versus Sport with almost no Carbon units left. Uh, honestly, almost no red units left, but the better positioning right now is in favor of the red team. And uh, it looks like it's time to surrender. Oh, red dog not moving. This is surrender time. The red team is dominating. And that was quite... That was a nice game. That was a nice little game there. I, I, I would imagine that the red team is, is about to surrender. Let's, let's, get, let's get a nice close-up on this... On this... Um, on this red carbon fort before it explodes here. Red Dog with the two white stars. Oh, the three white stars with the white paladin. That's nice. Um, is it gonna explode? Yeah, there you go. Kablooey. Happy Death and Hawk 485 taking game two over Red Dog and Sport 87 receive. Um, not much to say there besides great play. Um, great play on both sides, but um, obviously the victor the red team taking that top outpost, winning that bottom fight, Happy Death with those rebels getting sent out was the um, was the last move that they really needed to to uh, to make at the bottom. I mean, they they basically had the game won at that point. The rebels just sped up the process, 
And uh, yeah, let's see what happens in game three.